hi guys i am rishit shah from tally school and in this video today we are going to see how you can convert from single entry mode in tally to double entry mode so let me show you what it looks like in tally what is single entry mode when you open up tally for the first time so i'm going to accounting vouchers and you can see the account option here so if you enter a bank account let's say if i enter a bank ledger and press enter okay so now the bank ledger is fixed and you have to enter the entry against the bank ledger so it is the payment voucher and this kind of voucher entry is useful if you are paying let's say if you are paying 10 people from your bank account then this kind of voucher entry is useful because you can directly select the ledgers of 10 people from here and you will not have to select the bank ledger every time you create a bank entry in tally but this kind of system is not used today very much because of the double entry accounting system we are very much used to seeing the debit and credit side in a journal or a payment or receipt to vouchers and that is what i am going to show you how you can change it to double entry that is debit and credit or to or buy so what you have to do is you have to go to configure from here that is f12 and you will see skip date field during the creation for faster entry so you can also select this to no so the date field won't be skipped so now you will be entered able to enter the dates as well in the voucher the second option is use single entry mode for payment receipt contra vouchers so you have to select this to no as well show bank allocation details if you want to see then keep it yes i'll keep it yes then if you go ahead and down you will see the option use cr and dr instead of to and buy so i will select yes that will be better to understand than to and buy although i can understand both of them but cr and dr that is credit and debit is still better to understand than to and buy you will not have any confusion about credit or debit so once you have saved the options press ctrl plus a to save so i'll press ctrl plus a and all the options are safe now you can see bank on the debit side and down there is also debit but this is because we have changed the single entry mode to double entry mode now if i go down i can see so for example let's say i'm paying to someone called amit so what i will do is i will take the amit's account on the debit side let's say i am paying him 10000 rupees and then i will change here dr to cr just by typing cr and press enter now i can select bank account from here and press enter and press enter so i have selected debit to amit and credit to bank because credit is what goes out and debit is what comes in so amit account is debited and credit the bank account so this is normal double entry system of accounting and once i press enter i can also allocate the details for bank which the, for which the option we have enabled to yes so this is how you can change the double entry system sorry you can change the single entry mode to double entry mode which many of the people have asked me that how they can change it because they are seeing just the account option and they are confused how I am getting debit and credit in tally like this. So this is debit and credit and this is also a debit and credit column here. So you can see debit and credit and debit and credit. So this is how you change the single entry mode to double entry mode in tally. If you have liked this video and if it is helpful to you then subscribe to tally school and like this video also if you have any questions or suggestions or just simply want to say thanks to me for learning something new about tally then comment down below and i will reply to your comment if you want me to create any video on a topic about tally or accounting or gst that is applicable to you or that is your problem then let me know in the comments and i will create a video for that too so thank you for watching this video and subscribe to tally school i will see you in the next video